Maharashtra ke Infosys provides world class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job oriented training, hands on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Hello all, welcome to H2K Infosys. Today we are going to see one more uh, interview question regarding the Selenium uh, export locators. Okay, so let us see how do we write dynamic exports in Selenium. So generally, what is a dynamic locator is when we write a common locator or a single locator for multiple web elements to identify on any page or in the application, generally we call it as a dynamic locator. Okay, for example, if you write the same thing in XPath, we call it as a dynamic XPath locator. So the purpose here is very simple. We will be writing a single XPath locator to identify multiple web elements of the page by either replacing an attribute or a text generally at the runtime. Okay, let's see an example here. If you see for this particular page, for example, so if you see the links, women, uh, dresses, t-shirts and all whatever you see, as I highlighted in the page, so you could see the text or title as women or dresses or t-shirts. Generally, Assume a scenario where we have to click all these three links. How do we generally write is we write a XPath something like this one. So for three links, we write three XPaths. One is A uh, slash slash A, which contains title equal to woman, dresses, t-shirts and so on. So if here, if you see, actually this can be managed with single dynamic XPath because if you see the R if you observe the behavior here, the title only get getting changed, but rest of the XPath uh, attribute or whatever be the tag name, uh, HTML tag name is same. So in this case, what happens is, you no need to really write three XPath locators to identify those links. So using dynamic XPath locator, you can write a single XPath and we can use it for all the three links. And if you see the second section here, example, I created an XPath, okay, which is a dynamic XPath, which having the string link XPath equal to uh, slash slash A title equal to dynamic text. Now, how do we use that? Okay, so we are saying actually one XPath for multiple web elements. How do we use that? Very simple. If you see at the runtime or wherever you want to really click on that particular web element here, what I do is actually we use driver dot find element by dot XPath link XPath, which is the variable name here. And we are going to replace this dynamic text with the text, whatever we really want to click. So this way what happened if you see here, for example, if you want to click on the woman link, so it will be dynamic export replace with woman, then click. Similarly, if I want to do the same thing for dresses, it will be dresses. If I want to do the same thing for t-shirts, it will be t-shirts. So this way, if you see here, then, uh, then writing three exports, we can simply did it with one single export. So this is how you write the dynamic exports in selenium and use that in your programs okay thank you